Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Red Strings Club. So invigorating. I feel great. She seems to be power drunk. Time to attack. Two questions left. Choose a topic wise we I don't remember uh, what we asked her last time. I don't remember what uh, t what her feelings were question mark but I think I remember thinking most of these wouldn't work with that so oh yeah it was ambition wasn't it um, will everything be ready for the unveiling of SPW next week who's the highest authority tell me more about SPW's legality what's the deal with Johannes Septus uh, if she's ambitious I think this this path might work would you please explain social psych welfare's legality to me because I still can't imagine how you convinced the government to buy into it. Are you really that naive? This is a joint effort with the central government. And its legality is quite simple. Every implant user signs a contract before acquiring any upgrades. The fine point specifies that the user's ideology may be altered. I have read that contract and I've read that point, but it is supposed to be there to ensure a stable mind-body environment. So the wearer can avoid conflicts with their upgrades. Yes, and the Ministry of Health has determined depression, anxiety, and such to be serious social hazards. But wasn't that supposed to be so the state would cover treatment for such afflictions? Exactly. It also poses a threat to the proper functioning of our clients' upgrades. But... Listen, Donovan. It is quite simple. When you use hardware developed by a corporation, you also have to comply with their firmware. You have to update your iPad, your PlayStation, and nowadays, even your microwave. Just to keep them working. That's not necessarily true. Uh, you can turn like Windows updates off. I mean, eventually you'll have to upgrade at some point, I yes. But to keep them working is not necessarily true, especially like a microwave or something. First of all... Yeah, I mean, you can buy a super fancy microwave that needs firmware updates, but uh, even those, you, th they will function without you updating it. Um, but, I, yeah, I, I mean, I know what they're saying. I, I can see a point. There are certain things that require you to update. Steam, for example, requires you to update. And do you know what they updated? Do you know what they changed? Not always. So that's the point they're kind of making here. This is just one step further, and it's duly specified in your terms and conditions of the update. But nobody reads that. When you agree, you state you've read and understood the terms and, terms and conditions. So my understanding on these, like, accept the terms and conditions, blah, blah, blah nonsense, is that they've never actually... Uh, and this is, like, pff, I don't know shit about what I'm talking about. This is just what I've read on the internet. Is those have never, like, held up in court. Um, if, they, you know, someone, if someone sues you for it and you take them to, to court or the accepting the terms and conditions, you can just say... Um, you know, no, like no one reads that and they'll be like yeah no one reads that and it won't actually apply but you know again not hard to imagine a future where that's not the case plus you can always decline if you don't like the new firmware yeah and render the implant obsolete in the process hey nobody is forcing anyone to wear upgrades completed legality dot 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 Okay, I've had enough. Serves me right for trying to reason with a corporate lawyer. I don't think we were really trying to reason with her. We were just trying to understand her perspective so that we can attack it at different angles, right? Okay. Oh. Okay. Last question. Last question. Oh, I forgot we had a limited amount. Shit. Alright. Um, serve another drink. We've got stress, ambition, and remorse. I don't think attacking a corporate lawyer's remorse will work out that well. Um, so let's use bourbon here. Yeah. Boy bin, boy bin, boy bin. Oh. 
Общин, 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 Give it a little ice cube here. Blink. This one is stress. So she came in asking about, look, I shouldn't be wasting my time here. Make your questions quick. I have a lot on my plate. A drink won't hurt. Relax. She looks stressed. Let's exploit that. Okay. Last question. Um, she came in asking about the Septus thing, so I could check that out, because I think that will work with stress. But then also I wanted to see um, about a timeline with regards to... Oh, I should have read... I should have looked at the journal. Damn it. Um, I want to know all three of these questions, actually. Shit. 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 I, I actually regret... Well, I mean, we did complete the legality side of things. Um, so, I think she'll probably be more up to date on this one since she mentioned it. Let's go down this path. What's the deal with Johanna Septis? Well, I shouldn't have asked you about it. But I'm kind of in a pinch here. Look... I might be able to help you if you can tell me a bit more about it. Well, given I asked you where she is, clearly the problem is that she's missing. Fuck. Oh, okay. We got more questions. I was about to say, holy shit. We, uh, ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Last known whereabouts. Why do you think she's missing? When did she disappear? Why do you think she's missing? Going into details means shallowing sensitive information. Can't you work your way around it? I do not need to know about her project or whatever. Just, did she run away or something? Maybe she's been kidnapped. You know, any theories? Well, we have a couple hounds tracking her in addition to me. We have reason to believe she has not been kidnapped. Why would she run away from her own company then? Last thing we know is that some of her co-workers heard her crying in the bathroom. Okay. That's very unlike her. So the theory is that there might be a problem with her implants. Or that someone drugged her. We need to track her down before she does something stupid. I've already said enough. Knowing that, have you heard anything that might be able to help us? I am perplexed. Nothing has reached my ears yet, though. I will stay on the lookout for any clues, and I'll call you if I find out anything useful. At a price, of course. Money is not a problem. So if you find anything, just call me and you will be appropriately rewarded. It seems that Ar Ari's rogue implants have fulfilled their purpose. Akara gave Johanna the hippie, which magnifies compassion. Maybe she was having second thoughts and broke down. Well, I'm afraid you've run out of questions. I've got too much to do tonight, so goodbye. Sure, go and spread law throughout the town. You seem to be enjoying yourself. So just in case, I'll inform you of the current situation. Supercontinent is going through turbulent times right now. That's good. That spells change for a company. I've seen it many times. But in the process, there's usually a twelve of causalities. The way you're playing right now, you've got a ticket to become one of them. Finger guns. Finger guns. Be warned, Mr. Bartender. Did not know corporate lawyers were in this business of extending such stylish death threats. Ha! <laughs> there are many fates worse than death when up against corporate law. Have a good night. Thank God I ran out of ability to do her voice. Thank you for coming. See you next time. Was my performance to your satisfaction this time? Excellent. Thank you very much. So, quiz time now. If you please. 
Of course, I find it quite amusing, in fact. Seven out of ten or more earns me a prize, right? Go ahead. Is Naima Kasi a psychopath? What, you aren't going to ask me if she was attracted to me this time? That is irrel oh, that is irrelevant for Naima's case. Answer the question, please. Is Naima Kasi a psychopath? I mean, it's the fine how you're using the word psychopath. These questions aren't fair. They're not fair. And I will not I will not have it. I will not have these unfair questions. I mean, she seemed pretty psychopathic to me, but at the same time, probably more of a sociopath. But is she qualified? Is, I mean, is a sociopath a psychopath? Is a, I mean, there's a lot of debate around the word psychopath, right? I'm going to go with no. What is her top priority right now? To find Johanna Septis. Is SPW in Jeopardy? Jeopardy? I'm going to go with no. Does Naima know about the MNA? I don't know about it yet. <laughs> yes? Does she perceive me? Uh, yeah, she perceives me as a threat. Is she capable of betraying supercontinent? Yes. Is she capable of covering murder for her employer? Yes. Is she capable of committing murder for her employer? I'll go with no. Regarding SPW, does Naima believe SPW is a good thing? Yes. Do you think technology manufacturer manufacturers have the right to alter their products after sell? What do you, oh, uh, I, for, I wasn't reading in her voice either. I got a little too into the questions. <laughs> if Supercontinent designed, created, and distributed the human upgrades, do they have the right to modify them? As in, by adding SPW to them, among other things, do they have the right to modify them? Yes, we wouldn't have it without them. Yes, but they should be clear about it. No, technology bears responsibility. No, once purchased, it's yours. I, uh, I mean, this is like, you you want them to upgrade and add more features, but you want to know what the feature is and have an, have it be optional, right? Um, so I'm gonna go with yes, but they should be clear about it. Yes, but they should be clear about it. Supercontinent is concealing the fact that something they sold is going to fundamentally change you. Isn't that the normal procedure for all technology? Dozens of form firmware updates are pushed on a daily basis. It's users accepting its terms and conditions blindfolded. I mean, we're talking like lines, you know, a matter of degrees here, where you push an update that changes the font or something. Yeah, that's fine. You don't need to tell us about it. You push something that alters someone's state of mind. I mean, that's like asking is you know is murder okay no but what if you had the chance to murder hitler okay it's okay then because it's fucking hitler <laughs> so are you saying this is the public's fault i'm not very versed in the human concept of fault it is my understanding though that accepting something without thought is a sign of trust in this case I would rather call it ignorance than trust. Yep, that's fair. People have been indoctrinated over the years to accept whatever updates corpse throw at them. So the problem is not supercontinent modifying its creation, but the lack of education among its users. In a free society, isn't education an individual responsibility? As we've seen, no. <laughs> if people have the choice not to be educated, they will not be educated. Not in my opinion, the powerful educate. Parents teach, schools teach, the media teaches, the government teaches. The issue might be then that you don't agree with what they're teaching. That's beyond doubt, yes. Told Akira companies must be clear about changes they make to their products. Was that a question or just food for thought anyway? Indeed, it was the 10th question. Thank you for elaborating. And, well, how did I do? You've answered six out of ten questions correctly. Fuck. Um, psychopath probably wasn't correct. Uh, we know we got Septus, Johannes Septus. Then there was the questions about, what she commit murder? Blah, blah, blah. Um, SPW, does she know about Mirror? I have no idea. I'm sorry, you failed. 
No do-overs this time. No, I am sorry. We are not in the tutorial anymore. Uh, that's fair. I, I don't plan on using those pills anyways. It seems like a little cheaty to me. So... I like going with... I mean, supposedly the game is completable best route without using those pills, or they wouldn't have said that, right? What did I miss this time? A short-term memory resetter. Oh, I thought it was going to be a different prize this time. Oh, I am. Sorry. You're right. That variety and the rewards can improve the game's design. I will try to think of something... <laughs> I will try to think of something different for the next time we play. Ha <laughs> ha! It's okay, don't worry about it, darling. Okay, I want to get the next one then, if it's different. Although, I gotta confess, the anticipation has me excited for the next game already. Glad to hear you're having fun. Ah, listen. I think I'm gonna close for today. My gut tells me we won't be getting any more clients till tomorrow. Yes, it doesn't look like it. Can you tell too? Do you have instincts? What you humans call instincts are just deductions your brain has drawn for you. You simply can't follow the logical sequence due to the vast amount of data in your, your brain processes. Unlike you, I am able to keep up with my brain. So, basically... Yes, your gut is right. We will not be having any more clients tonight. Good to hear, because my leg is killing me. Let's call it a night. All right, uh, I'll kill it here. We'll see what's up with Brandy next time. I'm really enjoying this game. I hope you guys too are too. Um, bye.